May 2nd, 2011. April this year was very unorganized, kind of incoherent and aimless, more so even than the three months prior to that that preceded it. So it's no wonder that I feel my life is floating in amidst the wind, um, untethered, still at the mercy of whatever cosmic forces or powers to be that govern my existence that I have always been susceptible to. Am I on some unseen threshold of amazing things, or am I merely traveling down a hallway, corridor, that cares not how quickly I explore it? My life course feels off track, yet it still feels as if it's in line with destiny. And even though my future will be lived uncharted, I'd like to assume that before I got here, before I chose the parents I did, and before I was born into this present existence, which I am presently incarnated into, that I somehow did intentionally have a plan for why I desired to be born into such circumstances. And, and there must be reasons, reasons for which I cannot identify at this time for why I chose to go down the path that I've chosen to travel so far. A part of me prays to God, whoever God is, that um, I anticipated setbacks. So I'm hoping the setbacks I've experienced so far are not indications I'm a failure, but are merely, um, they are merely mile markers, such as the ones I've gone through, it. and all this recklessness and time wasting was truly all a part of this plan. All along, at the very least, all these years of unconventional, irresponsible adult living have granted me more time to create my art. Um, I learned a great deal about life and myself whenever the consequences of any of my mistakes came too great to bear. I was always granted to then and there a chance and a choice, an opportunity to choose to do things differently. I've learned the process for how things are created, how things come to be, and how things manifest over time. Um, how much of my collective knowledge is solely related to, to my age alone, I may never know. Meaning, how much of what I know or believe I think I know is subject to change as I continue to grow and get older. How much of this knowledge is intrinsic, inherent, and residing in me as it has always done since birth? Um, then later on that day, it's funny how the habitual daily rituals of modern society mimic that of societies in the past. The behaviors and phenomenons we'd like to think have been put behind us are merely repackaged and redesigned and reforce fed down our throats in a different way. See little leaves old familiar taste. Um, and yet still to be found are similarities that we may also find in nature. A good example of this would be how transitions between various certain types of experiences we all eventually undergo, such as heartache, Loss, disillusionment, um, maturity come in waves, much like the ocean's tides uh, heave waves upon the shore to meet their end, only to be heaved in and pulled back out again. It's strange. Life really is strange in many ways, many of which we may never be able to even recognize or identify. Um, 